or talk about the murder house. I know. I want to bring a couple of examples here because, you know, it's uh, with real estate, it's kind of fun. We actually just came up with a book. Uh, we should actually, sh we should have shown that. But we came up with a book which is about a lot of stories of women and people that inspire me to be where I am today. I'm going to come up with another book, though, about different type of properties you're going to come across. I want to share this because, I, you know, there is a buyer for every single house. OK, so I call this the murder house because I bought these three houses. This was just one of the three package deal for fifteen thousand dollars total. It was in Ario, meaning foreclosed by the banks. And this was a bank. They uh, said, you know, if you buy all three of them, uh, we give you a good price. When you buy some time in bulk like that, you have to buy the good or the bad, right? So when I walk into this house, there were some, quote unquote, coffee stains on the wall. And I was like, oh, look, coffee stains. Well, we're not coffee stains. I found out later that it was blood. Somebody got shot there, murdered. And uh, so I got this house on the contract. And I was able to actually flip the house and made the profit of $30,000. The thing is about this, there is a buyer for every house, okay? There is a buyer for every house. I have people coming to me and say, oh, this house is termite infested, has asbestos, has black mold. Uh, you can see the sky because there is no roof. I've had all of those. I had houses with a sinkhole uh, in the basement. All those houses sold. But this is like, I just want to bring you an example of a murder house. 